So there I was last night, after a weekend of lots of progress in the garage, I came inside and I was like, you know what, I gotta work tomorrow, so I'm gonna wind down to watch some YouTube videos, catch up on my YouTube and, and uh, just relax for the night. So I thought I'd check out some Fab Rats videos, he's got some new ones that I haven't seen. And he says this. So we're building this thing to go down and compete in the tow truck Olympics with Matt. What did he say? In the tow truck Olympics. Tow truck Olympics? And I'm assuming if it's with Matt, it's off-road tow truck Olympics? Um, we need to talk about this, like, right now. After the intro. Now, before we get into that quickly, I will answer, it's probably in everybody's mind, yes, there's more videos coming of the uh, my off-road wrecker, the crew cab. Um, got a couple to do. I've been super busy lately, so I haven't really been doing videos, um, but there are more coming, updates on that. Um, so now back to our uh, topic at hand. So I Googled tow truck olympics tow truck competition i couldn't find anything that came up for that at all like uh he was mentioning um and maybe matt's mentioned it or one of the other off-road recovery guys um uh, i'm way behind in my youtube videos on all of them because i've been too busy out in the garage building my own um but i might have to try to find some time and catch up because that's the first i've been hearing of it um assuming that is all that's mentioned uh that's kind of Figure out what we know. So if any, if you follow the off-road recovery world and all that, you know there's at least Matt's off-road recovery, BSF recovery, uh, Tow Mater, and Fab Rats, and they're all kind of buddies. They even they all went to Moab or Mob or however it's pronounced, Moab. Uh, and did a whole bunch of stuff a couple months ago together so maybe that was when they came up with the idea of it um those would be the at least the four that i know of that would be competing um at least i hope it'd be those four so let's let's take a look at those four and kind of go from there um first off fab rats like uh we just saw uh, we know for a fact that he's going because he just said he's building his truck for it um his truck, square body Chevy with a custom flat deck and uh, kind of a, a wrecker on it. Uh, he's got big block going in it that's like 600 horsepower from one of his videos he said. Um, he's boxed his frame. He's got, he just upgraded his uh, Turbo 400 and he's got a doubler behind that of a 203 and a 205. Uh, I don't know what he's got for diffs, but uh, pretty stout truck. Um, and we know he mentioned Matt. It's probably Matt's event, um, which would explain why Matt's been building his giant, world's largest off-road wrecker. Um, Monsters thing, I think it's like a 48 International or something on a custom frame with axle techs and 53s. He's got a 8.1 liter LS in it. Or sorry, I guess they technically got LSs, so don't get upset at me. Um, and I don't know what tranny and transfer case, but probably whatever came behind that, the Allison or the, um, the other one, the 4L85E. Um, so pretty big stout truck. He's got rear steer in it. Uh, he said he's going to have like seven or eight winches. Now, the other one that's close and another buddy, Rory with Toe Mater. Uh, big block in that, SM465. Uh, dually rear 
Uh, Dana 70. I don't know what he's got for a tea case. Probably a 205. Um, and yeah, the truck's got custom kind of gin pull system on it. Uh, he, he's got a lot of experience with rigging, as he mentioned a few of his videos. So uh, he could be quite the contender. And then I'd like to see... I, don't know, I think he's kind of one of the original off-road wreckers on YouTube. He was the first one I found. I've been following for years. Eric with BSF. Again, another square body Chevy. Kind of kind of see a pattern here, don't you? Square body, square body, square body. Um, and then even Matt's is a Chevy motor. Or engine, sorry. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, the red wrecker. Um, it's got a whole deck on it. Dually with a 14 bolt. He's got lockers front and rear. Dana 60 front. Uh, he just rebuilt the, the small block Chevy in it. Uh, I believe it's got a turbo 400. I don't know the transfer case. 205. Um, and he he knows how to run that truck. So without even knowing the competition, just knowing those four trucks, that that would be quite a quite a competition. Now those are the only four that I know of. Um, there's tons of others out there. Um, there's another one I even got on my uh, lock screen on my phone because I'm obsessed with off-road records. Uh, here's my phone screen. Um, as you can see at the top, the one that's jumping. I don't know where that one came from, so I had to kind of search it up. The only hint was on the fender. Uh, it said full-size takeover. So I Googled that and stuff and came across a bunch of pictures, kind of found a little bit of few pictures of the truck which led me to uh pictures of another truck uh this gorgeous beast uh again both square body chevys so uh kind of kind of theory um theme there and uh plus there's my square body chevy oops probably shouldn't have shown you that that's a little sneak peek i guess uh so i'm gonna try to find some time to binge watch all these guys youtube uh videos that i'm behind in see if anyone mentions anything and uh i will keep my channel updated as much as i know on this um i wish my truck was ready and i had a passport and could afford to go down there because i would love nothing more than for me to compete with these guys in an off-road record competition um i'm super looking forward to this if it is a thing and just it, uh, yeah, it just, wow.